Hello everyone and welcome. My name is David and I'm embarking on getting my FAA a and license. Now this is one of the goals that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I was in the military and I was an avionics technician. I worked on multiple airframes and uh, when I got out I recently here got my AC uh, Master Tech certification plus my L1 Advanced Engine Specialist. So I'm on a roll. So a lot of people know me as an automotive guy, but one of my biggest passions is actually aviation. Like my biggest, biggest dream is to fly something that's jet powered. I know it's crazy, but we all have dreams and it's healthy to have dreams. So one of the first steps that I'm doing and taking is I'm gonna be getting my AMP. And the reason why I want to do this is because the FAA offers uh, military veterans who had certain jobs uh, credit or meeting a certain work re requirement or experience requirement that you could just go ahead and jump and take your, uh, the test and get your license. Now it's not that easy. I've started to do a lot of research on it and that's why this is gonna be a journey. Now it's gonna be different for everyone, but this is gonna be a journey for someone who's gonna be studying solely at home. And the reason why I say that is because there's a lot of AMP test prep schools and unfortunately there's not any close by me. So I have to kind of dig in, uh, uh, you know, tighten up my laces and just put in the work. Now I'm used to that because I've passed nine tests and the L1 was one of the hardest tests I've ever done. I've got a little bit of educational background and UAV stuff and accounting and I did graduate from Embry-Riddle. Uh, so when you go to Embry-Riddle, you actually take uh, some aviation courses, which is uh, pretty cool because I've already started seeing in the study guide, a lot of this stuff is real familiar for me. So the reason why this is going to be part one is because I'm going to bring you through the whole entire journey, the ups, the downs, all the issues. I'm going to teach you guys how to get your license pretty much. And we're going to learn together because I still have a lot to learn and hopefully you guys can help me out as well. So it's going to be a, a two lane highway, right? You guys help me out. I help you out. So this is what I'm starting off. So I've got the uh, paper from the FAA where I sat down in their building. They quizzed me. They, look at, they looked at my DD-214. They looked at my uh, experience working on aircrafts. And they've granted me the um, airframe portion of it. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the power plant. Uh, but I have the green light for the airframe portion of it. Studying for the airframe and a power plant in a general is all going to be the same, but I want you guys to know in advance that's the route that I'm going for and I might even finish off doing a power plant through the traditional way. Now for some of you guys who are interested in getting your license, when I did graduate uh, from college I had a lot of friends who were military veterans and while I was doing uh, an accounting aviation business degree path. They were doing the AMP uh, program at Embry Riddle, and that's where they get a four year degree and they get their AMP certification. Not a bad degree, <laughs> I have to say, it's pretty cool. Uh, but essentially, there's a lot of routes that you could go and get an AMP or get ready to go work on aircrafts. Now, again, I'm doing it where I've been granted permission from the FAA to take the test and get my license. So I'm really excited about that. But the only thing is, is that I am missing a lot of experience. Um, I need to study a lot. And some of the things that I plan to embark on is I might even shadow people. I might even ask someone here locally if I could just be their gopher. And, uh, you know, if they need a wrench or if they need me to clean aircraft or if they need me to sweep. I don't mind uh, because at the end of the goal, passing the test is uh, everything for me. Now, I want you guys to know why am I doing this? I am not joining the workforce. Again, I want to be a pilot, um, but this is a big challenge and I'm a very technical guy. I'm extremely technical. I got a couple of years of engineering school with me, but I have a lot more actual engineering experience. I've worked for uh, simulation uh, jobs and careers and companies. I've done a lot of work on cars and a lot of aviation stuff, electronics, you name it. Uh, but this is a test that I want to take. And if I got the green light to do it, I want to take advantage of it. So this is what I've done. And if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. But what I did is I bought the Jepson uh, general book and I'm starting off with that. The thing about it is I bought an older one. This says it's from the city of New York and I bought the newest one. So one thing right away is that Boeing owns this company. I don't know if that's good or bad, 
But the good thing is, is this book came really well packaged and it's almost twice as big as the old one. But before this came in, I started to dig into this already. I really like how this one's written out. Um, so I might just finish both of them. I know it's crazy. I would have never thought that I like books, but I'm starting to kind of enjoy learning, which is kind of like 20 years too late if, you know, from high school. But anyways, um, that's the goal. So right now I'm going to be just studying the general, just studying it. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is probably make a video about finding some practice questions uh, for the general. Uh, start trying to find out where I could uh, uh, learn how certain phrasing and questioning is going to be in the actual test. Maybe talk to some of you guys, maybe uh, get referred to what's the best book. I did buy some color uh, note, note cards so I could start taking some you know, notes and stuff like that. But besides that, I am really just excited. I'm going to start devouring some aviation videos on YouTube. Uh, I'm actually going to pick up some books from the library about aviation. Just anything I could do to just feed the brain uh, to get me going on here. Luckily, I do have some experience in this, so I'm excited about it. And I like it, which is most important. Well, guys, I want to introduce you my new journey. And this is part one. And hopefully, a couple years from now, I'll be standing somewhere and i will have my license all right guys thank you again for watching you take care hit the like button hit the subscribe button that helps us it's free and it just shows the support and we appreciate it you guys take care and we'll talk to you soon